Oh, look at the time. Ain't that crazy. I think it's time for uh, a little bit of our words, don't you think? It's been long enough, right? All right. Uh, let's transition over to the, the amazing podcast screen. There we go. Let's unmute on Discord and also turn on the desktop audio. All right, I'm coming back in. You guys are now on stream. Hello. Oh my God. Hello. What's Hi. up, squad? The awards. It's your favorite guy. It's your favorite little man. Uh, the un uncontroversial king, Wacko Flipper. Oh, yeah. I'm looking at. I've never been controversial in my life. Can you ask Katie why she didn't Taylor episode two? <laughs> I can't do that. I'm sorry. We can get it. I'm just reading chat. People are not happy about this image. Anyway, all right. Ah, uh, true. <laughs> anyway, uh, welcome to the RR Awards 2021. A uh, bit better uh, timescale than last time. We're now doing it in the fourth month of the year, as opposed to the what was the last time? Like, was it seventh month of the year or eighth? Somewhere less in time. Yeah, a little better. Um, yeah, at least it has a VOD of it instead of the uh, 2019 one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that yet, Dom? It's like half edited. <laughs> You're getting there. It's yeah, slowly, but surely I'll get there. Maybe we'll get a 2019 VOD uh, before <laughs> 2023. <laughs> I would, I wouldn't chance it. Uh, anyway, uh, we're doing the awards on April 1st. Um, I don't have any trolls planned, so yeah. If you if you hear a result you don't like, I'm just telling you it's not an April first joke. It's just an a result you don't like. Also, this podcast is not going to be five hours long. In fact, I'm I'm even expecting it to be an hour long. All right. Without, okay. Without further ado, actually, I should say, Brody and Wacko here. Oh, forgot to introduce you guys. Yes. This is a great show. Uh, all right, okay, we're gonna just gonna hop straight into the awards for some uh, discussion here. We're just gonna hit them in order. Um, actually, before I mention it, I'll say voting for this year about as equal as last year, about the same, like pretty much the same. And maybe like a tiny bit less, but like not enough where you'd be like it's notably less than last year. It's just is less on a tiny amount. Which is kind of pleasant. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm? Are you not even listening to Echo? I don't know what Brody said. He's, too, he's speaking too quietly. Uh. Am I too quiet? No, no for, you're, it's just, you're fine. You're fine, I just give it a voice. <laughs> Alright, okay. Okay, we'll pop into the first award here. The first one we're going to talk about is Best Trailer. Uh, reminder, the nominees for this category were... Uh, Gateway 5 by Light, Nudon 17 by Shup, Nudon 17 slash Phobia 19 by Jake, RR Clash 2021 by Noah, and World Cup 2021 by Skylord. Uh, what are your guys' thoughts on this category? Who do you think is going to win? No clue. Yeah, it's totally not obvious. I mean, uh... Uh, no, I think I think uh, Shop's got it. Uh, I think all th I think all the I, will, I will say this. I think all the trailers are really good for this category. I will say that we're not discrediting any trailer by saying this is an obvious category because I think all the trailers are really good. But I think Shop's one is like easily the best. But uh, yeah, I think they're all really solid. But I think I think Shop's got it. Yeah, what it was... yeah I agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean. Uh... They're all pretty good, and like there's even some of them that like didn't make the list that was still decent. But again, uh, it's not like a super big category, so I think outside of the ones that didn't make it, there's maybe like five or six more. So it's not like yeah, uh, it's insanely stacked category. So like, uh, I think it's pretty obvious that uh, it's a new done one. I agree, Rocket. <laughs> I, was about to, I was about to say I do. I do full heartedly agree with that. All right, PGO ten. All right. Without further ado, there's an endangered species right there. 
<laughs> okay, without further ado, the winner of Best Trailer of 2021 is... New Dawn 17, Just That, by Shop. Ooh. Wow, crazy. Pretend to be surprised. <laughs> I mean, it's deserved. Very yeah, deserved, it's deserved. Yeah. Nobody, nobody can complain about that. I'll I think, find a way to complain about it, don't worry. I think, I, just, I think it's just kind of crazy that basically one round can be nominated in Best Trailer twice. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of weird. We love it, though. Uh, are you kind announcing like the placement for all of them? Like... But without the, um, I can do I can give placements without uh without score, yeah. Um, so New Dawn seventeen was first. New Dawn seventeen and nineteen and Phobia nineteen were second. Um, New Dawn got nineteen time. seasons. Crazy. <laughs> Slip the tongue. Um, World Cup was third. Uh, Gateway was fourth, and RR Clash was fifth. Okay. That was the yeah, that was the final placements. Okay. Yeah, it was a, it was a tough category because everything was good, but unfortunately there was one ungodly standout winner from there. Uh, all right. Next up, we're gonna uh, go to the next category, uh, which is best logo. So the nominees for this one are uh, Agency Fifteen through Eighteen by Bacon. Mythical 8 by Danny, Phobia 19 by Phenom, Evo 21 by Carter, and Gateway 5 by Ninja. Opinions on this category? I'm not actually sure. Is that a, a genuine unsure? Uh, I mean, well, I don't know. My, my, my brain is telling me it might be just be Sam's agency the ones, but... I don't know. My heart, my heart's, my heart's wanting me to just give it to Ninja's gateway one. That's what my heart's telling me. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, I think we reached a point where like uh, there's a a list of uh, logo maker that's just been uh, amazing at logos for the past few years, and I think it really depends on uh, what round they ended up making the logo for, and uh, also the idea behind the logo. Uh, I think. It, I think it's not guaranteed to to be the same person again. I don't even remember one last year. I think it's uh. Uh, last um, year's winner was Bacon's Rising Stars three, logo. Yeah, we might get back to back winner here, but I think I'm going to say, I'm going to say Ninja. Uh let me think. Oh, we got a finger. Oh. Tr- Big if true. I must say I'd go with Phenom. Alright, uh, in that case, I'd like to declare that the winner of Best Logo of 2021 goes to... Mythical Season 8 by Danny. Ooh! That's, that a, good, that's, that's a good winner. Good logo. I wasn't expecting that. Bit of a swerve, but it's a good winner. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, all these were good winners, so... Actually, no. Oh, change your mind? No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> you swerve him. All right, uh, quickly summarize, summarize the final positions. So, Mythical 8 was first. Phobia 19 was second. That's some gerrymandering. Uh, no comment. Uh, Gateway 5 was third. Agency 15 through 18 was fourth, and then Evo 21 was fifth. I'm actually surprised by that. I do reach out, Ripper. I feel like Sammy Bacon is just the go to for a lot of people. Uh, yeah, but I mean, like the fact that the logo was reused for like multiple seasons maybe makes it, makes it lose some point compared to like the mythical one where uh, it's clearly themed around the season. And as his own style. Yeah. Um, Dyer, why are you using my real name? <laughs> are we on a first name basis? I don't know your name. It's only sexy your name, which, which it could be, I guess. Yep. We got problems, Brian? Stop. <laughs> 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 All 
Okay, I can crank the data up. People uh, people demanding more bro data. There we go. He's a little bit up. Okay. Uh, hopefully that's better. Uh, all right. Okay, we're going to move on to the next category now. Uh, best renders. Best renders. Oh, my God. I made renders. <laughs> you would. All right. The nominees are Ambition 27 by Brody. Mythical 8 by Nolan. Casino 5 by Hannah. Battle Scene 1 by Loaf. And World Cup 2021 by Tanner. Opinions. Uh, that's really hard. I I remember I avoid Hannah because it was the most unique renders. So I'm going to go for that. Bias, but I'm going to go for it. I feel like that's, that will attract people to it. So I'm going to go with Hannah. Uh, as a, as a render maker, I had, that's, it's, like, it's between, it's between Hannah and Nolan, but for me, but, uh, I think I'd, I'd put Nolan slightly above, just, actually, what, I'm, I'm confused, uh, wait, I'm not sure, what are the S8 renders? No, there's still some pretty good in ones, I, I think Nolan can get it. Indecisive. What is uh, what is Chet thinking about this one? Hmm. What are you thinking, Chat? Yeah, no, Ripper, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that, Ripper. You know, you just give it to me since I made most renders last year. Oh yeah, of course. It's it's not best renders. It's most renders. <laughs> most renders. It's a purely objective scale. Quantity over quality. <laughs> a bit of a mean tone, but exactly. No, no, but he just. Oh my god, it's not wise. Okay. I mean, I'm caring. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Anyway, the winner of the best renders of 2021 is Mythical Eight by Nolan. Oh, I wonder if he's here to accept. Mm, yeah. Uh, about that. Mm. Guys, eh, no, 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 no. Joke side is actually really well deserved. There's really, really fucking good renders. Yeah. Oh, it is deserved. Yeah, hundred percent. Uh, yeah. Uh, final placements for this category. Uh, Mythical eight first, Casino five second, Battle Scene third, World Cup fourth, Ambition twenty seven fifth. I'm crying. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Mythical doing well so far. Two two award wins for Mythical. Let's see if they can keep it. Oh wait, hold on, they're not in the next category. Never mind, they can't keep it up. Wow. Unlucky. Unlucky guys. <laughs> Sucks. Alright, anyway, next category is Best Art. Uh, the nominations for this category are uh, Conception by Danny, Gateway by Ninja, Around the World by Noodle, Abstraction by Julian, and Phobia by Sid. Those are the nominees. What are your thoughts, chat and people in VC? Um, this was really hard for me. I, I'll probably say Noodle. I think I'll say Noodle, yeah. I think Noodle, her, Noodle Art goes hard. Also, she's got the uh, the Conjure and the Red World bias, so people would take like, both rounds into account. So, yeah, uh, yeah I'll say Noodle. Yeah, also, well, she's made an army for me, so I'm biased. Man, well, you're so biased. <laughs> uh, I was going to go uh, uh, for Noodle too, just because uh, it's new art from this year. And because it's new art from this year, it's, I'd say go between, I think... Either conception or noodle, or just because both both are like new from this year, so it might get more votes, I think. But uh, I'm not sure. What do you think, Dom? What do you think is gonna win? I I I I'm really avoiding like commenting on the on who I think is gonna win because I feel like no matter who I say, I'm gonna be just subconsciously blinded by the fact that I can see the results on my screen right now. So I'm just gonna just start drifting around to the ones that are highlighted as winners and I'm like I'm gonna give it away. Firm. Wait, hold on, sorry, I'm interrupting you. Firm. 
I just realized I was about to type in who is winning. I'm currently making the UNC 10 post, so can you do that for me? Or someone. <laughs> I re- realized I was meant to do that, but I, I'm busy. <laughs> Damn. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of love in chat for... A lot of ch- love in chat for Noodle. Uh, also, point, point out the Q's a little robbed. Q's new WMCR was sick. Oh, true! I forgot she made the new WMCR. Yeah. A, yeah, but yeah, there's another tough category, so unfortunate. Actually, I, I would agree with that as well. I think UHCGO is also robbed. I actually agree. I, I put UHCGO in my top five. Same. I, I think they deserve to be in here. I, I think it's because people, people really forgot favorite. about it because they were in it. And because it was a non-Reddit moving, so you yeah. don't know it as well, I guess. But yeah, I think that yeah. now was so good. Tough category. Just brutal. I mean, yeah, every single artist is... That's not saying no one's deserving. They're all, they're all insane artists. <laughs> that's the problem. Like, there's mm-hmm. too many talented artists in this community. All right. Without further ado, the winner of Best Art of 2021 is... Around the World by Noodlezilla. Yo, we predicted it. Hard read. Uh, the final placements for this one were... Around the world first, conception second. Was still that's close here. Phobia third, gateway fourth, abstraction fifth. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, what was that second one again? Sorry. Oh, so with the second place one? Yeah, it was the second place one. I uh, that, that was conception. Oh. Abstraction 5th is a little surprising, because I remember they were, two years ago, they were the winner. I think it's because of the fact that they've won before. Just a little, kind of like, subconscious, like, little voting bias? No, it's just, like, people just are like, oh, they've won before, so I'll put them, I'll not, I'll put them a second, or I'll put them a third, or, you know, I'll put them four, or, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what you, I, I can see that, I can see that. People are like that a lot of times. I know I'm like that, so. Mm-hmm. Alright, okay, anyway, we'll move on to the next category here this one is best montage so the nominees for this category are um agency 15 by pcb ggmc am i interrupting me while i'm doing my nomination i'm sorry he was being offensive (laughs) uh so yeah agency 15 by pcb ggmc 7 by light pathfinder 17 by jake Phobia 17 by Skylord, and Solace 4 by Advia. Opinion time? This is really hard, I'll be honest. If, I'll say one thing, I don't think the live round will win, just because, not because it isn't deserving, just because of live round bias against live round. So Hello? I think that... What? I just returned, sorry about that. Oh, <laughs> I was like, okay. I don't think oh. Advia's will win just because... Yeah, Alfia does deserve it. I don't know. I do think Alfia is deserving, but I think there's live run bias. Are you on is... Montage right now? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I think. I don't know. They're all really. They're all really good. <laughs> uh, I think my my personal favorite was actually Skylar's one, the Phobia Seventeen one. But if I had a prediction, I'd say, um, I'd probably say Jake's Pathfinder one. If I had a prediction. Mm. Uh, what is that, Brody? Honestly, uh, I'd go with either uh, Jake's Pathfinder 13 just because uh, last year, uh, I think it was the one the best season, I think. Or it was close to? It was in top It was very close to. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah it was, it, it was top it three, was yeah. Uh, it was a big contender. Uh, so it, getting a montage is... Uh, and the montage made by Jake is like a lot going for it. Uh, I don't worry about montage, seen... by the way. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people also uh, liking uh, Solace 4, but uh... oh, it skipped the halves. I can't accept that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so upset about it. All right. I'd have to go with Pathfinder. Yeah. Seems uh, seems a lot of chat support for Advia with this one. Um, all right, 
So, the winner of best montage of 2021 is Pathfinder 17 by Jake. You mean Spartan? Oh, sorry, 13. I have all written on my weird on my fucking dog. What am I doing? It's not even 17 seasons of Pathfinder. I'm so stupid. <laughs> tried to write Phobia 17. Tried to Jeremy. I told you he's fixing the votes. Hey, April Fools, guys. April Fools. I didn't have it wrong on my document the whole time. April Fools. I'm going to eat a twirl, sadly. Okay, Pathfinder 13 by Jake one. Final uh, order of events. Pathfinder 13 was first. Phobia 17 was second. Agency 15 was third. GGMC wow. 7 was fourth. And Solace 4 was fifth. Okay. Kind of surprising placements, but... Yeah, I feel like the, the Solace 4 and 5th makes me very upset. Hmm. I think they're all really good. How is this an ASMR montage? Who's streaming my, who's streaming my... I'm trying to eat a twirl in peace. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's probably yes, true. I'm like, I'm proper leaning away from my microphone to eat it. You're not doing a very good job of it, apparently, according to Higgy. Yeah, I think I, I think I might just suck. the expert on this kind of thing. Higgy loves ASMR. All right, okay, we'll, we'll move on, uh, move on to the next category now. Ah, oh, here's a fun one. Oh. Best moment slash kill. Oh, here we go. Uh, I don't think, nope, Wacko Flipper has not won any awards yet. We were currently still living in peace. But that could change with this category. It won't. The nominations for best moment slash kill are slash stop hunger from Agency 15, Kel boat hopping in Mythical 8, Higgy vs. Wacko in Geo 10, Quill's triple backstab from Journey 2, and The Wither in Evo 25. Wait, I just realized I'm here twice. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. What if I want? What if I definitely don't want? <laughs> All right, so well, what's your uh, thoughts on these? Um, the Journey one uh, was mentioned way, 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 way more than any other moment. So, uh, so I think it might have it. But then... Um, that was like before the final votes and in the final votes it kind of like forced people to to look at the moments for each of these so maybe the opinion change i mean i have a little bit of bias but i really like the geotan one just because that's guy because Siggy's being funny and he's carrying the pov for wacko you know what do you mean i literally started a fight with him i was the one that fired the first shot I'm the funny guy syndrome. here, Hickey. I have a protagonist syndrome. I always have the protagonist. Yeah, I don't know. I, f I feel like Hickey's going to jump on you in a few seconds. <laughs> uh, I think it's... I don't know why we're even discussing. I think it's just... Uh, this is just the journey backstab. <laughs> 100%. Oh. I'm not winning anything today, boys. All right, okay, well, uh, with Wacko being the villain, we'll move on to the winners of the category. The winner of Best Moment Slash Kill of 2021 is... Stop Hunger from Agency 15. What? What? <laughs> no, it's not. I mean, it's what? a funny moment. <laughs> Wacko in tears. This is, there are zero japes going on right now. Zero japes. What? I mean, that it wasn't even a montage. That was genuinely surprising. I mean, it was funny, but come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. His voice, his voice, who voted for that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but we all saw the quill backstab, right? 
That's so surprising. Wow. Um, to quickly cover the final placements. So Stop Hunger was first. The Wither was second. Fuck off. Kel Boat Hopping <laughs> was third. <laughs> Quill's Triple Backstab was fourth. And Higgy vs. Weka was fifth. You're telling me the Wither almost won. Dude, I would have left to call the Wither one. Holy shit. <laughs> I, would, I would have let you left to go. It's not a win for the weather. It came second, tire. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, you came last as well, mate. And then, Sorry, yeah, just a, just a, yeah, just a clarify. I have it's a it is a surprising result because everyone I I spoke to was always like championing it's like oh it's got to be quill's backstep and journey and it ended up being fourth i, I mean uh, i think everyone always disagrees with moments yeah because they're all funny in their own ways and they're extremely there's... subjective yeah uh, it's probably the most subjective subjective category like there's no real way of being like that one is the best one and like if it's your favorite one, if that one's your favorite one, then you're weird or something. Like, it doesn't really work like that. Well, I'm kind of like complaining, but it is actually a really funny moment. The yeah, stop hunger. Yeah, I think they were all funny. Yeah, I think mine is mine. I don't think the weather one is very funny, but you know, we can move I, along. I, I agree with that. I don't think it's very funny either. Oh, let's go! I've got. <laughs> yeah, you're on your own, brother. I, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's the more the the only one that's not like, oh, it's funny to watch. It's more like funny to have a wither in a UHD. It's more like the idea of a wither in a UHD. It's funny to laugh at me being angry because I was very bad. You you were very pissed. <laughs> you were godly pissed. All right, okay. With that one, let's move oh, on to the next category, which is best fight. The nominees for this one are. Butter versus PCB in Poo 5. Cypher versus Frost and CJ in Ceviche 2. Colin versus Hannah and Kyle in Casino 4. Kel versus Seven People in When Scars Become Stars Season 2. And Te and Wacko versus Fra and Kai in Calamity 16. Yo, I played that. <laughs> you say you played that. You're in it! You're, you're in that nomination! Oh, true. <laughs> you did a little bit more than play that one. Yeah, I mean, uh, honestly, I think uh, I think I think the winner is clear. Uh, I, I think uh, everyone's opinion on Casino Four has been made clear before, so I think it's pre probably guaranteed to win. But there is uh, another one that. Uh, I personally like, and that is honestly, I think it's underrated, which is the uh, the Poo Five, which is Butter versus PCB, and it's a close fight, like all the other ones. Uh, or I think most of the other ones are just all close fights. I don't know, um, but it's a close fight. But it has something else to go with it. It's the the entire season makes you want to see PCB lose because. He cleaned multiple fights and did like multiple stuff that made people angry. So him getting destroyed and like losing what he should have won is very funny. Very funny. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's funny. I just think it's just a really just. I think it's just. I don't know. I think that's the fight. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll be honest. I think I think the poo one is underrated. I think it's easily number two or number one. Uh. I think the casino fight might win. I I uh I didn't see that fight when it came out, and then I I watched it for this, and I was like, oh my goodness, like, that is so good. I think I, I the casino one I think is the best, but yeah, the poo one is also crazy. Those those are the top two for sure. Mm -hmm. I think the casino one will win though. Yeah, for sure. All right. Uh, in that case, we'll go over the winner here. The winner of best fight of twenty twenty one. Is Colin versus Hannah and Kyle Casino for crazy? Absolutely I mean, good job, absurd. deserved. Yeah, no, that fight is insane. It's yes, yeah, definitely deserved. <laughs> mm -hmm. Great fight. Uh, final positions for this category 
So Casino 4 was first. Uh, Kel versus Seven People was second. Um, Butter versus PCB was third. Cypher versus Frost of CJ was fourth. And then wow, Ted and Wacko versus Fran Kai was fifth. Come on, guys. Well, and then for the Wacko <laughs> guys, guys got something against me. <laughs> We never. I never mentioned the uh, the Kel one, but I love I love the Kel one as well. Actually, the Kel was the Kel was just ridiculous. I think he's getting. I think he's starting to ego on me in the chat, so maybe I'll stop complimenting him. <laughs> yeah, fucking fucking get him. Yeah, I think all, all the fights in this category were sick. So, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh yeah, there's one clear loser. But like, no, they're all they're all good. So. Again, tough match, tough match. Yeah, why couldn't fifth place? You love to see it. What's your problem, Ben? What's fuck? All right, next category. We're going over to best perspective. The nominations for best perspective are Colin in Phobia 18, Colin in Casino 4, yeah. Jake in Abstraction 9. Higgy and Wacko in Geo 10. And hey, again. Tanner, Fancy, and Rocket in Astrology 7. So, uh, Wacko without ego on people. What are you guys' thoughts on this one? Me. Guys, 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 guys. I played this one. I think it's, it's, it's rough because I think there's, there's two, there's two, I have two favorites in this category. Mm hmm. And they're both cons. Yeah. <laughs> so it's either got. I don't know which one would win though. See the problem I is I, I don't know where. I agree with you. I don't know where people would split on that one. I li I think people would like. They would split the votes, but with how the voting system works, I think one of them's one. So if people yeah. put them as one and two. So I think yeah, I think. Well, I might you not know, I agree with you. Flipper, weighs me down so much. Fuck off, baby. What the hell? <laughs> I, 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 think, I think the way I see it is Casino 4 is, is a perspective for the fights, and Phobia 18 is a perspective for the editing. I'll, I'll put Casino 4. And like the game loaded itself, like the, the experience itself. So I, I guess it depends what you want more out of a perspective. But the other ones are also decent, like uh, Jake's PV is a pretty good added PV. Uh, then Astrology 7 is a very clutch Tanner win. Uh, there's a Rocket highlighted PUV, but it, Rocket dies like... Uh, what is that for like 90% of it? Not really, but uh, like he's not part of F7, but he, yeah, he dies in F6. But mm -hmm. uh, it's still like the, the final part is still a clutch, even though if it's not highlighted. So it's still... And then there's the Geo 1 where Higgy's being funny and Wacko highlighted it. I was funny too. I'm a really funny guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, winner of the category. Uh, so, the winner of best perspective of 2021 is Colin in Drumroll. Casino Four. Yo. Thank you, yeah, sir. I mean, I mean, in one best fight, so like you know, uh, it, it goes with it, you know. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just uh, the, the music at the end as well. It's like, oh, Mwah. this is all for Ro this is all for Roach Glow. <laughs> it's all for Roach Glow. Also, Tom, I, I just remembered. Where do you think you're getting people on a call? Eh, we're like halfway through. Oh well. That was something I could thought I, I briefly thought about, but I don't know, maybe we could have people jump into the end or whatever for a party. A big award after party. Um final placements for the full category. So Collins Casino 4 was first. Collins Phobia 18 was second. Um Jake was third. Hickey and Wacko were fourth. And then Tanner Fancy Rocket were fifth. I think it last this time. I know it sucks, right? I think I did. I low key did maybe. I think me and Higgy might have deserved last, last to be honest. <laughs> I like the <laughs> other POVs better than ours. <laughs> I think, ironically. 
Drunk POV, lot br yeah, true. Drunk POV is just amazing. One category so far you wanted to get last, you didn't. True. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want... Mm, that's true, yeah. Okay. All right, congrats to Colin for the top two. Uh, all right, we're moving on now. Best game mode. So the nominees for this category are uh, battle scene, all of that used for battle scene one. Uh, catching fire for cinema eleven. Shut up, Wacko. Uh, Dragora and quests for Pathfinder sixteen. Phasmophobia for Phobia eighteen, and world tour for Gateway five. What's your thoughts on this one? Why did you steal campaign's concept for Phasmophobia? What? They do games. Uh, you do. Oh, you're so funny. Oh, you're so funny. Oh. I'm funny. Oh, I'm laughing. But no, um, I think Phasmophobia is maybe my favorite. Yeah. I'd say Phasmophobia. Like, as someone that's played the Pathfinder game mode, I didn't play the actually. I didn't play the phobia game mode, so maybe I'm like. Yeah, you didn't. What? Don't forget it. No. <laughs> uh, I I don't know. I'd say I'd say phasmophobia. Yeah, because I think, yeah, I think phasmophobia, and then like the the pathfinder one like second. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're they're both crazy game modes. I think uh, they both have a ton of work put into them, but I feel like. From a viewer perspective, people prefer the Phobia one more than the Pathfinder one, so I'd go with that. What about Spooky Ghost? And yeah. it's got Bob Cave. Yeah, it, like created funny moments too, so. Oh, Mark, I wish. All right, okay, let's go to the winner here. So the winner of best game mode of 2021 is Oh, I don't like reading that message from uh, Bill in chat there cuz the winner is Phasmophobia. Wow. Woo! Shocking. Biased org. Woo! Oh my god. Why why are you kicking me? <laughs> so <laughs> The <laughs> <laughs> R Discord admin are biased. Yeah. I rigged the votes. I rigged the votes. Uh, what was the the ordering? Also, uh, unironically, I think Pathfinder did really deserve it. Like, so, but not Pathfinder. Uh, fucking Fulvia. Fuck. I mean, they both deserved it. I, I thought yeah, it was, yeah. was going to be a really close fight between the two. They did both deserve it. I think. I, I think. Yeah, they both deserved it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm. Saying is, Phobia deserved it to decide. But yeah, they both deserved it. Either way. <laughs> it's like the type of fight where the winner wins on 0%. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> so, Fast Phobia was first. Um, Dragora and Quest was second. So it was, yeah, was the fight that was the fight between the two in the end. Uh, Gateway World Tour was third. Uh, Cinema Catching Fire was fourth. And then the battle scene was fifth. I actually want to see one thing before we move on. Okay. We never robbed the gateway game mode, but I think people will copy that for the future seasons of their rounds. Oh, the game mode was very sick. Yeah, I what think was the game mode again? It's basically they had this 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 compass where they could teleport to the other worlds, and it was like a ten minute cooldown, and all the worlds were based off previous seasons, like season one, two, three, four. Then they had like a meal world at the end. Yeah, I mean, it's a cool, cool game mode. It's just that... Uh, I think other What server was this that. hosted on? I can't remember. Uh, Forge server, I think. Okay. Why? Yeah, I, I, think. I imagine having multiple words like that is uh, kind of heavy on the server. Oh. Well, I don't know. It depends. It depends. I don't know, I remember, uh, I think it was World Jumpers, where it was a different world every episode. It was pretty heavy. Uh... Mm -hmm. I know, um, we're getting really sidetracked. I know, uh, That's fine. 
A- ATL's not that free. ATL six fun like multiple worlds. I know that like a lot. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It depends how you do it because the gateway was seamless. Maybe it depends on the server. I don't know. Like so, gateway five is just ATL six lag. Yeah, maybe true. <laughs> You're honestly probably true. Facts. All right. Next yeah. up, we have um a very, another fun category here. Most surprising player. It's me. So the nominees for this category are Acorn in Agency 18, Frostbreath in Phobia 18. So many 18. Natural 44 in Evo 24. Sorry. 44, 24. Pagetti in WMC 29. And Preambly in R&R 16. Ed Dom. This is really off topic. Oh, what? I think the Pathfinder Discord is gone from my Discords. Let me just... I think Bill has done it. Oh, did you say, bro? Oh, oh yeah, you know. I'm not there either. He'll be, <laughs> be back by tomorrow. Ooh. Mm. That's, uh, uh, that's difficult. Anyway, let's get back to real real issues. Yeah, like the most surprising uh, player award. Preamble's wedding. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're, they're all pretty cool people to see. Uh to see back. The only exception is Noah where you don't see him back, but you see him in a round you didn't expect him to. Which which doesn't make it like worse than the rest. If it wasn't for the fact that he applied for it. But uh, all the other ones uh, uh, I honestly go with Primly just because it has the gap going with it. And well the other ones also have gaps, but it's not the They're gap, the it's, it's the fact that it's preamply a guy, a guy yeah. that said, yeah, no. he let me block you would see people who followed his Twitter, you know? He, know and he's, but, he's a Twitter but, recorder, right? Know, like, the amount of time uh, between both is also kind of insane. Oh, yeah, for sure, the gap is definitely a thing, but... Like, and I don't think, I, I don't think it's you accept, I don't like, think you accept, expect uh, R&R to go for uh, getting its older roster back. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Well, I I fi- I figured that this this was helped with the I think the Joey games that happened. Oh I yeah, think, definitely. When the season was recorded. Yeah, I no doubt. Natural... Sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say it was just the Joey game really went crazy uh, with that R and R season. But uh, like was saying, natural forty four is really surprising. I was like, that's that's true. I remember the guy subbed for Evo, and then I I remember seeing him log on, and I thought like, what the f- I de- I never see I didn't see that guy's name for like six years. Oh yeah, it is surprising, but I feel like I feel like less people know him. No, I don't think it's that. I think it's the fact that he was. It's not like, like no. A lot of people didn't know Black Bear, and the other like when he won a couple years ago, I think now, but he still mm-hmm. won. So yeah, I think that forty four can definitely win. But yeah, it's, it's between natural and preambly, I think. But preambly wins, I think. Uh, I agree with you on that. All right, okay. With that, we'll uh, go on to the winner. So the most surprising player of 2021 is... Preambly, R&R16. He never misses. <laughs> oh, do. I could have recalled it. He really do be never missing. All right. I was just mm-hmm. waiting wait for chat to catch up there. Oh, uh, there's, a, there's a pause there. <laughs> there's a bit of a pause. Um, we'll go for the full order here. So Prambly was first. Natural 44 was second. Frost Breath was third. Pigetti was fourth. And Acorn was fifth. Mm. What, was, what was that number two again, sorry? Like, two was Natural 44. Oh, so, okay, cool. Yeah, expected. I expect top five, honestly. I, I'm surprised. I feel like Noah should have been five because Noah was like a contest. Noah yeah, should have been five, but I feel like the reason he isn't five is that uh, there's, so there's weird people, in that roster. <laughs> there's there's people that like that, and um, it's either it's either you go for someone weird or someone that's back in the community, and you have one option. You have one option for weird, and you have four options for someone back. So, yeah, I guess. So it kind of gets uh, an advantage in that sense. Right. Yeah, yeah, I agree. 
Understandable. All right, next up, we're going to move on to best new round. So the nominees for this one are a dime a dozen. I was expecting Wacko to chime in there. Like my road. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Ad libitum, battle scene, exploration, and subspace. Those be the noms. Uh, who do y'all think? I, I think I have a good idea of what you think, Wacko. Uh, personally, for me, I'd say it's between uh, diamond battle scene for me. But I think Dime has the advantage because it has two seasons. Oh, yeah. And all the other ones are uh, are pretty good. Uh, I mean, Exploration also has a shot. It's a pretty cool concept. And Adlib got a lot of season. I think the, what goes against Adlib is the lack of concept. But, but the roster has been pretty uh, cool. And then, yeah, you know, you have Subspace, which is uh, a cool concept. Um, well, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Um, I can't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Yeah, okay. Good contributor. Right. <laughs> read, read the fucking award. <laughs> it's not biased. No, zero bias for Wacko Flipper. So the winner of best new round is... A dime a dozen. I won something. Yeah. The round. Yeah. Oh well. I think I, I I don't know what to say. I feel kind of awkward now. I'm sorry that I wrecked the votes. Thanks, Bobby. <laughs> Bobby's Speech always there to support people. you. Harper, why did, Harper? I invaded you to season one. Why do you join? I hate you. <laughs> Damn. That was my, that's my speech. All right, okay. You know, good speech, good speech. Uh, final orders for this one, by the way. Uh, Diamond Dozen was first. Battle Scene second. Exploration third. Adlib fourth. Subspace fifth. Subspace? Subspace. Yes. You, you cut out. Oh, yeah, no, subs okay, did I cut out? Weird. Okay, Subspace was fifth, yes. You just said Subspace. Subspace, subspace was fifth. Subspace, okay. subspace wasn't like zero. They didn't like shoot over the top at the last second. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the order. I kind of expected subspace to be fifth, but uh, I'm still sad to see it happen. I kind of do like it. It's a, little, it's a little quirky, but it's fun. Quirky. A little quirky. Oh, I'd love to ban Wacko. That'd be that'd be lovely. Anyway, oh, what? <laughs> so I'm just looking at the chat. Uh, next category: most improved round. So the nominations for this category are ambition, campaign, conjure, consumption, and mythical. What do you guys think? What do you think is the most improved round of 2021? These are really, really stacked nominations because, like, I think Dalan said it's something, yeah. Yeah, I think Conjure improved, but I feel like it was already like improving like last year, so I'm not, I wouldn't say that. And it was, I think it was nominated last year, right? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I think consum people sleep are sleeping on consumption. That round has improved so fucking much this year. Like that round is actually yeah. Since we got revived, the yeah, the like is actually like a really solid. Round. Um, what are the other ones? Ambition, campaign, and what was the other one? Mythical. Mythical, yeah. Mythical. Oh, fucking hell. Mythical is like a crazy round now. Mythical is like pretty much this year have been going uh even like bigger with like the game modes and with their uh and their production and they ended up also being lucky in getting mo most of their like best season overall in that year. Mm -hmm. So uh mm -hmm. that is pretty pretty good for them and then uh and then campaign went from like uh, um, a, a weak revival that like I think people were kind of left out of meh and then uh, just came back with S six and I think I think it brought a lot of uh, hype towards around and uh, you know and then it got 
a lot of other season, older seasons, other season with like older players coming back, and that was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. And then ambition is just that before last year it was pretty much one season a year that was somewhat underwhelming, some someone that was fine, someone that was like I don't know. I feel like, like people like were like have done this year. Like ambition, like the ambition fucking... hype was dying, and then it just came back with like yeah. three season this year. Like Among Us, like they had the fucking Among Us season, they had the fucking Mindcrack season, the All Star season. Like they, mm. they've just been ambition's been crazy this year. They had the Among Us season. Remember that was a thing. Oh, they had, the, they had the Among Us intro. They had the Among Us intro, guys. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> why was it in the top one hundred? I think I think campaign should win though. I'm not mentioning it yet, but I think campaign definitely should win. Uh, yeah. just because their game modes and intros and production and the roster and everything just been so top notch with campaign. I miss DS so one roster. And I feel like a lot of them, like I feel like ambition went from good to better. Mythical went from good to better. I feel like campaign went from mid to really good, so I think campaign should win. Yeah, and I agree with that. Reasoning. All right, with that, we'll go through the winner. So the most improved round of 2021 is Mythical. Wow, that's actually surprising to me, but it's not. I mean, it's, it's deserved. Um... It's deserved. <laughs> it's deserved. I'm not surprised by it. I don't think it's. Uh, I don't think it's surprising, but it's definitely deserved. <laughs> I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of surprised by that. that I, I don't know. Joe's reaction from Joseph was so fucking fast. <laughs> I would say it was expected at all for him, actually. <laughs> I, I really think I really think it was between Mythical and Campaign because Mythical did a lot this year. It released five, six, seven, and eight, and I agree with Colin. I feel, I feel like Mythical was already really solid. So that's why, yeah, I, I, yeah, true. It went from solid to gray, but I don't know. I would have personally went for campaign. That's just me. I think both campaign and Mexico deserves it. So yeah, yeah, it was a, it was a close one. Uh, final positions: mythical first, campaign second, ambition third, conjure fourth, consumption fifth. Nice. I think <laughs> consumption just kind of proven it kind of proven your point that I think it did get a bit slept on. I mean, everyone likes to sleep on food. I don't. It gives me fucking horrible acid reflux, dude. I don't like doing that shit. It's so true, Colin. So true. All right. Okay. We're gonna move on to. Uh... A very uh, special category for this year. This is a uh, best non-Reddit transfer. So the mm. nominations for this one are Apocalyptic, Calamity, Flip the Switch, Nuclear, and Solitude. So what are your thoughts on this one? My friend Brody is nominated, so he's probably a bit biased, but... I think Nuclear should win personally. I actually voted for Nuclear. Even though I'm a I'm Calamity's most iconic member. Um yeah. I won Calamity sixteen, so. Uh I think Calamity will win though, because I feel like Calamity, ever since it came back to came to, not came but came to Reddit, has been like the most popular, honestly, out of all five of these. I think that's why Calamity will probably win. Yeah, this is the way I, I, I see it too. I don't think Calamity is not deserving. I just think Nuclear's had better seasons. And yeah, I think it's had better seasons. Here's um, the way I see it. It's more. It's not about. I mean, yeah, nuclear did came, come to uh, the subreddit with better seasons, and like. But I think I think the main difference with it is also, if you talk about how the transfer happened, and like what you, what like the answer did with the transfer, I feel like both nuclear and Calamity did well. I I I, I do I do agree with you with like the. Uh, more like popular popular part uh, with like between those two, and then like uh, the other three rounds and in, in there like are just are non rated but I feel like they haven't done as much in terms of transferring. You know, they just started releasing on Reddit, and I don't know, like like that. Nothing right. really special about it. 
I can see that, yeah. All right. Well, that, we'll get to the we'll get to the award. So, the winner of best non-Reddit transfer of 2021 is Calamity. I just I'm so good at predictions though. Yeah, you whatever. Uh yeah, like I said, I feel like Calamity was definitely the more popular one. Which I think that's that's like a merit in itself. I, like I, I voted for Nuclear personally, but I feel like the fact that Clammy became the most popular is you like know, Clammy is like kind of like the shit post part of it, you know. Where yeah, it's just I, like I, do I, funny I memes. And, uh... Um, you were, were you going to say something, Brody? I feel like the expected but deserved line is being used a lot in these uh, awards. Yeah, that's what Firm said a lot. <laughs> it's fir- firm's been saying a lot. So, okay, Firm, I, we get it. <laughs> Um, yeah, I feel I feel like they're both deserving, but mm-hmm. I'm happy. I'm happy with Clammy winning. I would have preferred Nuclear personally, so, but yeah, Clammy Clammy deserves it. I know Max is popping off right now. Echo's always mad. Don't worry about it. I'm, mad about it. I'm just not mad. I'm speaking normally. Hello. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have best streamed round. You haven't listed the. Uh... Oh, I didn't do the order. You're right. I did the order. So, Calamity was first. Nuclear was second. Flip the Switch was third. Apoka was fourth. Solitude, fifth. Okay. Weird wacko flipper noise there. Oh, did I make a noise? It made made an odd noise. Yo! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Yeah, I'm 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 sad about Solitude and Fifth. I think I think they could have they could they deserve better. They could have done better. All right, okay. Now we'll move on to best streamed round. Now we'll make the switch now. So the nominees for this category are Awareness, Calamity Live One, Expansion Nine, Shining Stars Live Five, and WMC Live Six. Thoughts and opinions. Uh, I have to mention that I, I I think I think stream rounds as a whole are being robbed by the fact that uh, it's mostly being voted by people that watch rounds, and I think most people don't care about stream rounds, and so that's why there's three out of the five that are straight up taken from uh, from like uh, live rounds based on. Uh, of real recorder rounds with WMC, Shining Stars, and Calamity all being based on uh, on the real recorder round. Uh, obviously, uh, WMC is WMC, so WMC will win. Uh, but I think uh, I'm pretty sure Expansion had a good season, so it might deserve it more than WMC. I mean, WMC was still a pretty good season too, so I don't know. It depends. Well, I, I definitely feel like there's a lack of uh, stream rounds represented in this. Uh, yeah, this is kind of going to be what happens with the uh, with the voting what people base. Yeah. yeah, I've came back. I'm sorry. Well, I've MS team. We're on stream rounds. And what is nominated again? WMC. WMC wins. <laughs> sorry. Damn, you guys really don't have much hope for anything else in this category, huh? I mean, expected, but deserved. People don't, people don't watch live rounds. <laughs> yeah, like, like Saul is really so many season, but you don't see a single one there. And, like, you know, expansion has been doing pretty well. And, like, there, there's been a ton of rounds that have been, like, reducing there. But, uh, you know. Yeah. I, f- I think WMC... I f- everyone watched WMC Live is the thing, which is why... I- I think I need to post you to ten posts. One second, you, I you think that's why that will win. All right. Okay. With that, we'll uh, we'll go to the winner of the category. So the winner of best streamed round of twenty twenty one is. WMC Live Six. Had a very long pause. Yeah. Expected but deserved. 
<laughs> I enjoyed it. I wanted to make it uh, really long and dramatic, so people might oh, yeah, no, like for cool a, to watch. for a second believe that it might be something else. It was cool to watch, but like when you see WC with stuff people don't know, it's kind of obvious that WC will win. Deserve it or not. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, there's no UHC 10 here because this is 2021 awards and UHC 10 came out in 2022. That's, uh, that's just how years work, Spike. I spoke. Also, this is the stream drone category. 22 awards, it's 2022 low. awards tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Uh, order for this one. Dumb C Live was first. Expansion 9 second. Calamity Live third. Awareness fourth. Shining Stars Live fifth. Oh. Oh, see she 10. You see 10 time. All right, next category. This is the last of the small categories here. This is the best one-time slash special round category. So the nominees for this one are Clash of the Underdogs 3, Dragon's Nest, Ladies and Gentlemen, Rising Stars 4, and RR Clash 2021. Thoughts, opinions, feelings, all that jazz. What do you got? Um... All these runs are like pretty solid. Um, I think I'll probably see Dragon's Nest wins just because that I know that was nominated for best season. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll throw that there. I feel like people did vote for it because of the winner, but it definitely has the most insane season. That's and it, 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 it also season. has the factor of oh my god, a round finally got a good Dragon Rush win. That I mean, other round did it too, but like that never happens. The other one, uh, Rising Stars 4 had a pretty good season, I think, personally. And uh, our clash and uh, the uh, finale was uh, a pretty good season. If you consider the finale, like... Uh, but like it's all all together with yeah. like the the first four the first four like are kind of more like you see that happened <laughs> and I, I you know i can't deny that they did happen i uh, then clash had a good season and then there was funny moments but i don't think it's to the level of the other ones uh season wise and then uh ladies and gentlemen had uh, a lot of good fights the winner ended up being predictable, but I think it was a lot of fun for like everyone that played, and I think it probably has the strongest roster out of all the five rounds there. The, that roster was pretty insane. There's like some people I did not expect to see. All right. Yeah. The, the, the feelings in chat are very varied for this one, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, so the winner of best one time slash special round is Rising Stars 4 one time season oh did you by White Clipper oh, uh, I forgot about that I think it's deserving actually but yeah I feel like this is weird because like Dragon's Nest got nominated for best season and then didn't win this category <laughs> but it's deserving 100% it was actually a good season it deserved. I I feel like Dragon's Nest is kind of tainted. And, uh... Also, uh, sorry, I'm going to drop you, Brody, but I feel like this is advertising for a raid because the intro drops on Monday for Rising Stars. Yeah, it's finally releasing. Like, he, d he did that Twitter poll where it was like, which montage you want me to do next? And then Rising Stars won by far, and all the other ones got released before Rising Stars. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So, so my happy Rising Star is finally releasing. <laughs> Montage Buddy is a scam. It is. God damn. Uh, I'm surprised it wasn't called out yet. It needed to happen now. Uh, for category order, Rising Stars was first. RR Clash was second. Dragon's Nest was third. Ladies and Gentlemen was fourth. Clash 3 was fifth. So yeah, those, those are the final placements there. Uh, and I think with that, we're 
gonna move do I, I i mean i do know how close it was but i'm not mentioning how close they are because uh, i don't right, want to give away points right what you said dragon's s was second right Dragon's s was third but what was second rr clash oh wow yeah i'm not gonna i'm not giving away points score specifically order is up to your imagination how far apart they are but you know um all right next we're gonna move on to best intro the the one the first of two huge categories here, we've got a lot to discuss. So the nominees for best intro are Addiction Fifteen by Chibi, Astrology Seven by Winter, Campaign Six by Cyclone, Conjure Eight by Chibi, Fission Fifteen by Rocket, Geology Ten by Higgy, Mythical Seven by Kanako, Phobia Eighteen by Brick, Phobia Nineteen by Colin, R and R Sixteen by Burning. So, what do you guys think about this one? Uh, I'll, I'll just link the, the top one already that I made. Oh, you know. Okay. Uh, yeah, you have to call yourself out there. Like, like the, the, only, the only change that goes is that uh, Phobia 19 was not part of the top 100. So, it's the only one that like you can't really expect the placement. But I, I feel like otherwise the placement will go pretty much like the top 100 where... Where addiction first, and like Geo will be on the top, campaign will be in the top, uh, concentrate will be in the top, astrology will be high. I mean, they were all high in the top one of it, so they're all gonna end up high. Well, you get what I mean. I, I, get you mean. I get you. I, mean. I, I think it's just gonna be a uh, top 100 v2. <laughs> Understandable. Except this time it's only 10 intros. <laughs> um. I don't know. I'd say my personal hot, hot take, personal favorite is probably Conjure 8 because I prefer that over Dexter 15 but Dexter 15 is going to win it for sure and it deserves to. Um, Geology 10 is obviously up there. Um, I don't know though. This is kind of crazy. Could go anywhere. I'm interested to see what the ranking is like. I feel like the ranking for this kind of stuff is really random mm -hmm. because all the entries are really good. Like the top entry is going to be Dexter 15 obviously I think. But Everything after, I'll be a bit random. So, I'm, I don't know. Yeah, that's all I have to say about it. <laughs> all right. Uh, I think I'm going to do a little kooky with this one. I think I'm going to go from 10th to 1st. So, we're going to go full reverse order. This is going to take a while to get to the winner. So, for best intro, 10th place is Mythical 7. Ninth place, R and R sixteen. Breaks my heart. I had to break my heart too, actually. Help that intro. Eighth place, Fission fifteen. Seventh place, Phobia nineteen. Sixth place. Conjure eight. Well, guys. <laughs> Fifth place. Campaign six. Fourth place. Astrology seven. Third place. Phobia eighteen. Which just leaves addiction fifteen and geo ten. Never seen these last two before. Not crazy. And the winner of best intro of 2021 is... Addiction 15 by Chibi. Expected, but deserves. Good <laughs> job. Let's go. I, I, heard, I heard it from Brody before Firm dropped it. Oh, Firm said the line. Firm said the line. Point and laugh, point and laugh. Yeah. You, you, you know, like, you know, like when you, you post the, the files for the, 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 the awards, you just title it expected but deserved. <laughs> <laughs> expected but deserved. Yeah, I think it is. I hate this. I, hate this. I think it's those three words. Um,. I said very heartbroken about R and R sixteen. 
easily the most charming intro of the year. Um, but I also kind of figured that was never going to win. <laughs> it's just I had that little little like little hole in my heart that was like, but it could, but it could. It, it, it's too different. No. I love that intro though. It's very sad, very sad. Yeah, very cool intro. Uh, I think with that, though, we now get to the final category. The the big boy. The the Fun big one. the big cojones of the awards. Best season. Um you know I don't I don't think I'll talk about dilemma. I appreciate the offer though, Rocky. So the nominees for best season are Abstraction Nine. A but Diamond Dozen One. Nominees, right? What? You listen nominees or this order? I'm listening. No, I'm listening. Yeah, I'm listening nominees. I haven't done order yet. List of nominees: Abstraction Nine, A Dime a Dozen One, Agency Fifteen, Astrology Seven, Battle Scene One, Casino Four, Dragon's Nest, Lampoon Five, Mythical Eight, and Paradox Five. Final thoughts and opinions here. They're all great seasons. There's like so many insane fights in like most of all those seasons. There's like all have at least I think one fight that's kind of crazy where someone just pulls something out and there's a lot of good moments and like fun game modes and all of them. But I think Casino is a free win there. <laughs> uh, I, I, we clearly saw it with like the best perspective. It got it got the best perspective, got the best fight. And like it has other cool stuff around it, like it has a pretty cool intro and a cool roster and like cool game mode. So I I feel like it has everything on this side to win. Clap but everything else is also good. Um, I think every, yeah, I think I think really good. Um, uh, who do I think will win? Casino Four probably. Then followed by then Astrology 6, maybe with the win, though. Or was it Astrology 6 or is it Astrology 8? Seven. Seven. Astrology 7. seven sorry. sorry, my bad. 7. I guess Astrology 7 might be able to win, honestly. Like, where the Martyr is strong people. I don't think it's like a, a guaranteed win just because of the ranking system, and obviously people have their own opinions about stuff. Yeah. I think it's been those two for sure. Um, and what? Where was it nominated? Dime Paradox, Bow Bow Scene. It's Roll Stra- 7, Dragon's Nest, Lampoon 5, Mythical 8, Paradox 5. Oh, yeah, Lampoon. Abstraction is really good. That's a really good season. I love that season a lot. Um, I don't know. What do you mean if it's easy to elaborate? I don't know what to, I don't, what, what do you want to say. Yeah, even 22. <laughs> you know what should be here? That one abstract, that one ambition season, the, the, uh, the main crack one. What was it, 27? Yeah, that was a good season, yeah. I love yeah. that season. I think that should be here. I also think an evil season is missing. Uh, yeah, but solid category. I think Casino Four wins. It's between that and Astrology Seven, but Casino, I think, will take it. All right. With that, let's get to the final rankings from tenth to first for best season of twenty twenty one. Tenth place, Dragon's Nest. Ninth place, A Dime a Dozen One. Mm-hmm. Eighth place, Battle Scene. Seventh place, Abstraction Nine. Sixth place. Mythical 8. Fifth place. Agency 15. Fourth place. Paradox 5. Third place. Lampoon 5. Which leaves Astrology 7 and Casino 4. And the winner of best RR season of 2021 
is Casino Four. Um, okay. I so, think I have to say it again. Expected but deserved. <laughs> <laughs> say it. Fuck, you said it. Say the line, Bart. It, yeah, it, 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 it's really the line that represents this entire year. Yeah. What does that mean? A lot of anticipated wins. Except from the best moment one. <laughs> that yeah, one that shook people. Well, you know, it's the like the one thing no one will ever agree on. Otherwise, it was all expected and it was all deserved. But like even the ones that didn't win all deserved it too. They yeah. just weren't expected. Yeah, tight uh, tight awards this year. A lot of a lot of very good winners, but and just a lot of good nominees in, as a whole. Right. Mm. Yeah, good winners, I good guess. Wins. Good wins. Um. Yeah. Weather okay. didn't win, so that's all I care about. <laughs> it nearly did. Yep. <laughs> nearly, nearly took it. Yeah, that's uh, that that, co that covers everything. We uh, we finished the awards, in uh, an hour and fifteen minutes. How lovely! That was nice, quick. Oh, so this was much less controversial than the Oscars. Oh yeah, <laughs> no one's came up to slap me yet. Uh, a lot of people wanted to though. You know, oh, a lot sure. of people would do it at this point. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're you're lucky we got good security here. <laughs> Alright, uh drop a drop a one in chat if you would slap Wacko. That's the that's like assault. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you love like, to see yeah, it. I mean, yeah, I just back to Pathfinder now, we're sorry. <laughs> we're sorry that the people voted that way. We're sorry that we didn't really do anything wrong. Sorry for respecting democracy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was expected but deserved, so there's nothing you can really do about it. Maybe if you don't want everything to be expected but deserved, next year you guys should just vote for like just everything at random. Just vote for everything wrong, you just, and then you, you can be like, "Wow." And <laughs> yeah. And then they won't be like, "Wow, this sucks." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the thing I didn't think was going to win didn't win. This sucks. Oh, the thing that I did think would win won. This sucks. Are we going to have, like, a winner after party? Uh, I don't know. We could add some people who... Oh, you're only Okay, you're only allowed to join the call, or I guess it's this Discord, if you won an award. It's as simple as... Where's BS Brent? Someone get BS Brent off his wheelchair. Get him in here. <laughs> Noodle, what the hell? <laughs> that's, that's just so uncalled for. All right, let me, I gotta get some. I gotta throw out some invites for this little uh, this little Discord of ours. Copy the little invite link. Who we who we had in here? You know what? You should have that preamble. He did win. Oh yeah, preamble did win. <laughs> All right. We'll send out some Discord invite links here. Oh, also, I'll shout out one thing. You guys should go and watch Sleeping's POV for UHC 10. It brings up a lot of issues that are endemic in our uh, community. I think it's important <laughs> viewing for you guys to go watch, so I would recommend Sleeping's POV for uh, UHC 10. Thank you. Sleeping. Yeah, it's very important, actually. Yeah, uh -oh. we got someone in here. Oh, hey, guys. It's sleeping. Oh, it's Kel. What? Wait, what did Kel win? Oh, Mythical, right? I mean, Mythical won, but you did not do the work, if you get what I mean. Oh, it's that guy that came second in best right, fight. Mythical won something else than best logo. It won most improved round, so... Oh, yeah, I forgot about it. And renders. I, I, yeah, you didn't do that. I mean, they got robbed. Are you sure? I mean, you did improve your round. Everyone going commission and fang. 
Oh yeah, true. Uh, while you're here. Natural 44 should be in this channel with us right now. Where's Syndic? Yeah. You were gonna use this mythical. Oh, that's true. Uh, I'll, get a, I'll get Tyson, hold on. He was cancelled, actually. He's been cancelled by me. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Oh, you're right. That's right. My that's bad. right. That's right. Well, actually, my, enti my, my, my entire Discord DM hitch history with, with Tyson is just Discord oh. invite links. <laughs> like, this is literally the entire right. thing. I don't, I, all don't these are expired as, all these are expired as well, so I don't even know what they're for. Oh, yeah. I just want to give a, a welcome, huge Joe. shout out to, uh, to Wacko, actually. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have somebody to spawn the wither on, so thanks, bud. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, Shup. What's Shup win? Best oh, trailer. Best trailer. Trailer, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you pay attention for any part of this wacko? That was a while ago. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. a start. Come on. I, w I was asleep for it, to be fair. So. Well, what a great thing to wake up to. You were asleep yeah. on your big day? I was. You're really yeah. Australian? I mean, yeah. I've worked yeah, for four hours. You slept through it. Oh, hooray. Who wants to yeah. start, guys? <laughs> oh, yeah. Congrats yep, to the cool. casino for winning three categories. Yeah, good yes, job, guys. For winning Thank three you. Categories. Did Mythical win three categories? Congrats yeah. to Noodle for winning best Congratulations star. Congratulations to Mythical for winning three categories. Oh, I you. forgot. Brent is literally here for being the dumbest guy on Earth. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't my fault. I was just typing That was literally about. your fault. <laughs> That was Lake's fault. literally fell disgusting. for slash stop hunger in the year 20. I was literally just typing anything I saw in chat. How can you blame me for that? I was just trying to help. Oh my god. I wasn't reading what I was typing. That, that still sounds like your fault. Oh, you put the fucking no, Mario emote in the chat fault. too. God, you're the worst. <laughs> this guy. This guy. Stop banging conversation going on here, guys. Yeah, we're all, all talking about okay. all the the awards you guys won. Oh, should I? Should we? Should we talk about that guy? Oh, um, I think. Yeah. 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 I think you're yeah. the you're organizing this, so I think that you should Me? organize how we talk about it. No, Dom. Oh, I think it's not all about you. Let's just uh, you know let's okay let's just uh, let's just go in order of the um of the VC here. So let's talk. Let's first talk about Brent. Brent, how do you feel about uh being an idiot? Wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I'd like to chime I was in. Rapid firing commands without reading them. Okay. I made you do that. This was all a ploy, just so Brent could be here right now. Yep. That is true. Big brain. I just wanted to feel special, so here I am. I did I, it. And you are special. Thank you. <laughs> wait, special wait, boy. not like that. <laughs> um. Yeah, you're not getting away with that that easily, Noah. Um, <laughs> I need to go. <laughs> oh, do you actually have to go soon? Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. You you can go next, then Noah. In that case, no one else get no one else gets to skip queue like this. Okay. Okay. Hannah, we won so many awards. Thank you, everyone, yeah. for voting for us. We're so crazy. Now that we won best season, someone has to make a goddamn montage. It needs That's to true. Happen. Montage would be cool. Yeah. That. I think so the reason they're trying, but it keeps getting dropped. Yeah, the reason there wasn't a montage for Casino 4 yet is because the Bobo 10 had it claimed for like eight months and then never did it. Oh. So uh, he unclaimed it, so we'll see where this goes. Get called out, Zabobo. Yeah. yeah. Now that it, yeah, now that it's the uh, best season of the year, people are going to be people are going to be pining over it. People are going to be going to be high demand. The Bobo 10 death threats now. The Bobo 10 threat longer. The Bobo Tem will never work again. <laughs> the Bobo Tem will never play another hour. You've put him on the streets and you don't even realize it. <laughs> I've ruined his career. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm gonna message his, his like, manager at work about this. Yeah, congrats to the casinoers. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, everyone. All right, um, Thank you. I appreciate it. Moving down the list, uh, Brody, how does it feel to not win anything? I don't think I was there for anything, really. Uh, nuclear was nommed. And you got renders. I mean, renders. I mean, render, like, uh, I already know I'm not the best render maker. And I already, and you know, I, I'm carrying in my own way by uh, already having making like 40 different rounds. While like, most other people are like under 10. So I guess that's uh, something. 
and, and a lot of pain. I think your renders are really good, Brody. Me too. They are. They are. Yeah. I mean, I know that, but you know, I, I think like the oh, other ones, Eric. but oh, dear. more. <laughs> okay, I think, I, I, agree. I think there's an extra level of work on uh, most of the other ones. Okay, let's move to the list here. Uh, what the wow. fuck have you crawled by a coin? I thought it was yeah. croyd bacon. I, I, whoops. Croyd bacon. Wow. <laughs> I got the best fight thanks to Kyle for climbing that hill and thinking that was a good vantage point. Thanks to Hannah <laughs> for oh. getting hit. Thanks to um, me for not being good. I appreciate good. you guys. Thanks to the you cactus. Shout out cactus. Thanks to the cactus. Thanks to Lake for pearling in front of Hannah's arrow and dying <laughs> so that team couldn't kill me then. <laughs> um, I also got best perspective. I got the top two. That's crazy. Thanks for watching. Thank you, me Roach Glue. Place. Yeah, thank you to Roach Glue for being my friend IRL and playing with me. Hell yeah. But... There are two other people there too, Colin. No. Oh, cool. Okay, well, you were there. Ryan literally didn't do a fucking thing. <laughs> yes, he did. He <laughs> killed Blues Maker. <laughs> He can't take Blues, that away he's from literally him. just an ass. Blues is a, okay. Blues is an impact player. It's true. It is truly crazy though that people still watch me as much as they do for these, so that's cool. Thanks for best perspective, S. And also, I didn't win, but intro making, goddamn, that shit's hard. Being in the top ten is cool enough. Congrats to the big guys up there like you, Chib and Winter and and Hig. Those Gold guys are rock house. When are you What's finishing up? the Insidious Season 3 intro? All right, and with that... <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, Hannah, you technically already spoken already, but I'll let you talk again. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that wasn't already covered is Casino 5, who got second place. Thank you. It was a fun little project. Oh, yeah. What did I get second place for? Uh, renders for Casino Fire. Oh, right. Okay. Nice. Those were really cool. Thank you. They were amazing, actually. I'll say. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Uh, who's next in the call? Kel. Talk. Hi. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> this uh, thank is a you demand. To everyone who's done production for Mythical ever, even if you hadn't been nominated or anything, we really appreciate it. And Tyson, go. Oh yeah, thanks thanks everybody for voting for us. Um we really do appreciate it. Oh uh, yeah. Um most improved round. I, I appreciate it a ton. And what was it? Most render best renders? Yeah. We we won't be getting any more of those, but yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Ooh, oh, okay. God. Uh next, uh Chup. Hey. Um so I just want to say thanks to everyone who voted for the New Dawn trailer. I worked really hard on it, and I'm super proud of how it came out. And uh, fun fact, I almost didn't finish it. I was having, like, my computer was on the end of its life uh, while I was uh, working out all the editing for it. So it almost didn't happen. Uh, but it did, and I'm really glad because uh, it's an homage to one of my favorite games, and people seem to really like it, so I'm pretty happy about that. And winning Best Trailer of the Year is i never expected it so thank you and uh also thank you for third place best season of the year for lampoon five that's crazy like when you started reading out the top 10 i was not expecting to get that far into it but that's really awesome and i want to thank everyone for voting for it and thanks to everyone who played it and thank you to everyone who helped do production for it and that's hell all. yeah uh and finally wacko flipper well <laughs> you, you you won an award. You just can talk. Uh, I'm just happy the weather didn't win. <laughs> and the fact it came second is terrifying. Like who out here? Someone out there was was like gerrymandering it. So oh, someone joined. Someone was out there gerrymandering it. So, oh, oh, way for uh, spawning the wither on me and getting me second place. Um, <laughs> that was really good. Um, <laughs> well, he's gone now. Now you gotta speak yeah. for him. A dime uh -huh. a dozen's great. Great work on that, Wacko Flipper. I think you won. Has he gone? Has he gone? Yeah, he's he's, like he's complimenting you. Yeah, sure. Yeah. We'll talk about your round. Probably, Marind. Best new round, a dime a dozen. Cinema, cinema didn't win. 
Bestie I mean, round a dime a dozen. No, 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 let's just let's just move on. Let's just let's just go. Uh, you were here the you whole know, fucking good. time. You didn't listen. Name. You didn't remember you won a fucking award. Uh, thanks awkward. everyone for, for voting for me. I don't know. I feel awkward. I've never won before, or have I? You should. I don't. I, I, I don't think I have. Suffer I feel from weird. Success. People are not <laughs> from success, guys. How did what dime win best round? Vernon, why are you in Dime? Dime and Vernon went around spreading rumors that I had him as a sub, even though he was a player the whole time. Dime, Dime, che Dime cheated by releasing a season in 2022 boost. Dime a dozen is kind of like GI Jane too. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Randy, saying, I, I, I'll say one thing. Randy, where's your episode two? Mm. I'm gonna have to go. This is. I'm so missing that. Awkward. Ooh. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks you know, for the you know the, party. Only, the only POV that's not been uploaded for Dime is Randy, who's missing one episode for season mm. one. How are you all still crying about it? Okay. I'm just you. chop. Fuck you. Uh, why is everyone leaving? See, this is, this is why they're, they're leaving to go watch you eat shit in. Oh, this true. Very talk. true. I was leaving. We didn't, we didn't even kick him out. Everyone just chose leaves. Shop, you're being smart right now. Uh, 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 after, I think... I oh, sorry. You know, you don't, have to, you don't have to go. I'm not kicking anyone out. Everyone just chose to leave. Uh, I think uh, that is interesting. people have, like, a limited amount of I don't have anything else to do right now. Fair. Well, to be fair, also, I think that's after party over, so... I think I'm just gonna, we're just gonna wrap up the whole show here. Go watch your shit down. Yeah, yeah, go watch UHC 10. I'm sure there's like a 60% chance your favorite perspective is up. Um, Mine's up. Uh, Everybody watch mine. I mean, I, I mean, I, you, you say that, but Angel is late. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe it's like sleeping, a 40% chance your favorite perspective is up. <laughs> Good 20. Oh, I can send it. Oh, I can. Oh, yeah, I do have a lot of viewers. I can send a raid for this. Put sleeping's POV on the big screen. Put sleeping's POV on the big screen, Dom. I'm not putting sleeping's POV on the big screen. Oh, right, okay. come on, man. Can we do the comic call intro? Man, I'm up to something. Is that it, Colin, is that it exactly? So yeah, we're gonna go, we'll go raid burning after this. We're gonna send 27 people over to him. Bobby. No, you, Bobby, you can go to burning and complain you weren't sent to good. How about that? All right. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. It was good awards this year. Next year, they'll also be good. Hopefully. Maybe they won't exist next year. Maybe we'll all be dead by next year and the community will have burnt to the ground. We can hope. Uh, thanks to Brody and Wacko for helping out and chilling. Thanks to all the guests who showed up at the after party at the end. Thanks to everyone who watched in the stream. Thanks to everyone who made shit throughout 2021. Nominated or not. Winner or loser. Doesn't matter. UHC is cool. UHC 10, watch it. Uh, uh, recorded rounds. We're gonna go raid burning. Everyone get hyped, excited. Yeah. People in VC get excited. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We're gonna go raid burning now.